Climate change is threatening the future of the Winter Olympics, according to a new report. This year's games are the first to rely almost entirely on artificial snow. Now, that's largely because Beijing does not traditionally get a lot of snow, but as CNN's Renee Marsh reports for us now, clim climate scientists are warning that the lack of real snow at this year's Winter Games could become the norm. No natural snow, a Winter Olympics first. Over 100 snow generators and 300 snowmaking guns are doing what Mother Nature did not, blanketing Beijing's bare slopes with snow. It's not quite ideal, but I would say we're all making the most of it. You definitely don't want to fall. It feels like pretty bulletproof ice. Climate scientists warn this scene will become the norm as global warming threatens the future of snow sports. A new report finds that viable venues for the Winter Games are dwindling. Iconic Winter Olympic host sites like Vancouver, Norway, Sochi and the French Alps are seeing temperatures warm and shorter and less reliable snow seasons. Of the 21 cities that have hosted the Winter Olympics, only one is expected to have the necessary conditions to host them again safely at the end of the 21st century if greenhouse gases are not drastically reduced. I worry that the mountains around me won't have snow uh, for the next generation or, or maybe even in my lifetime with the, with the path that we're on. Two-time Olympic snowboarder Elena Height says climate change is already impacting her sport in her hometown of Lake Tahoe. Due to shorter winter seasons and a lack of snow, resorts have done away with this concave structure known as the half pipe, one of snowboarding's most famed contests. We don't have consistent enough snow for the resorts to be enticed to build them. So I see that and there are no younger generations coming into Lake Tahoe that will be able to be home and train in the half pipe and potentially pursue those Olympic dreams. Height says artificial snow as a substitute comes with higher injury risks. Less training coupled with increased danger are a worrisome combination for these athletes. Environmental advocacy group Protect Our Winters warns artificial snow has limitations. In order to make artificial snow, there's a temperature threshold. So you can't just, you can't make artificial snow in 40 degree weather. You still need cold temperatures. Fake snow also comes with environmental risks. Beijing, one of the most water scarce cities in the world, estimates it will use some 49 million gallons of chemically treated water to make snow for alpine sporting events, something environmental advocates have criticized. So it's actually causing the problem that we're being affected by. I hope that we never get to the point where snowboarding isn't a viable sport because of lack of snow. And really, I think that we have the ability to make those changes now. Well, artificial snow can create a faster surface because it's almost 30 percent ice compared to real snow, which is closer to 10% ice, so it's a much harder, more slippery surface, and that is what creates the risk of more severe injuries when an athlete takes a fall. But outside of the Olympics, Jake, you have these ski resort towns with the economies that rely on this sort of thing. They are really being threatened by the climate change issue as well. Very upsetting story, Renee. Thank you so much for opening our eyes about that.